Hi, I'm Arthur. And I'm Andrea. And we are Heavy, Heavy Metal, Metal Beer, Beer Club. Club. So today we are drinking Kilt Lifter that is bourbon barrel aged from Four Peaks Brewery in Tempe, Arizona. So stick around. Music. All right, so we got it. So this is uh, one of their flagship beers. Kilt Lifter. Yeah, and so, um, which is really good, but you know, I often talk about, I really like the bold barrel aged flavors. And so we drove out there and they were all out of it on tap. And so we uh, looked around and Andrea found me one that was uh, bottled. So of course I'm very excited. Well, what am I doing? I'm putting it, putting it down, but we've got to open up this bad boy and check this out. Let's give this a pour and try this out. I am so excited. I had had this once before. Where Do you remember where we had it at? I think we had it at either no. Tap and Bottle or Arizona Beer House here in Tucson. I think we had it at Arizona Beer House. Oh, I'm gonna, ooh, down oh, yeah, you can, to the last Right from the beginning, drop. you can smell the bourbon. That's the first thing you smell. Yeah, it's a Scottish style amber ale. Mm -hmm. And uh, on here, it says uh, caramel, vanilla, and whiskey. That's their award-winning kilt lifter. It should, should be award-winning from what yeah, I remember. Yeah, let's, um, oh yeah. It's bourbon. Yeah, you do smell that bourbon You would right think this away. is bourbon, you wouldn't even think it's beer when you first smell it. And the it's uh, the color, it's a, a dark brown, but it's supposed to be an amber, so it does have the those uh, amber color to it. Um, oh, I cannot wait. Here we go, I wish we had a drum roll. Cheers. Cheers. Right away you taste a, a really nice bourbon taste that's not too pungent and then there's a maple caramel right after that. Absolutely. It's real smooth. It has a woodsy flavor, wouldn't you say? Mm, vanilla, so good. Yeah, so we were on our way to the Monsters of Rock Cruise. Did they have two of those? We should, why did we only buy one? That's what I'm getting to right now. Okay. Because we were on the Monsters of Rock Cruise and that's why we were in Phoenix, really because we were flying out of Sky Harbor, and so we bought one because we didn't want to have too many of them sitting in the car. We're gonna be going to Nashville for Creatures Fest, which is a, a KISS-based thing with Ace Fraley, Vinny Vincent, and Bruce Kulick. Yeah. And so when we go fly out of Sky Harbor, we can go back to Four Peaks and we can buy some more. I wish we could find it here. We can find the uh, kilt lifter everywhere here in Tucson, but not the bourbon barrel age. All our lo local tap houses, we wish you could get a little bit of this in. Everyone loves Kilt Lifter. And uh, mouthfeel, it's uh, about a medium mouthfeel. Yeah, very fizzy on uh, on the tongue around your mouth when you too. fill it, yeah. Sometimes these heavier beers, this isn't heavy actually either, no, but they'll, like they'll be medium. more flat. Yeah. So it's nice to have a little, I don't like too much fizz, but a little bit, it's just, it has like a little life to it. Yeah, yeah. It's Well, actually, I would even say like a light to medium mm -hmm. mouthfeel. We yeah. should have bought two. Yeah, no, we should have bought a bunch more. <laughs> so next time we'll know when we do see it, we're going to have to pick up a bunch more. Yeah. And on the tasty meter, which is a one through five, what would you say? I'd give this a five for a bourbon barrel aged beer. It's super. Yeah, I would, I would go with a five on this. Mm -hmm. This is great. And it's really funny because it's just the bourbon barrel aging just changes everything. It's, uh, we have another local beer here in Tucson, Barrio Brewing Company, which has some great beers and great IPAs, but they have what, one of their main beers that you find around all the restaurants here is called the Barrio Blonde, which she really likes a lot. Yeah, it's and so good. For me, it's a little bit light, mm -hmm. but uh, about a year ago, they had a barrel aged of the Barrio Blonde, and it just knocked my socks off. Oh yeah, yeah, it's totally and, different. Yeah, and I think they ran out of it pretty quick because it was just so good. Well, anything bourbon barrel aged, always Arthur wants to try right away. Yeah. And, and I like them, but a lot of times they're more of a heavy and sweet, almost syrupy. This isn't that at all. So no. if you don't mm -mm. care for that, but you would enjoy this flavor with all this caramely and vanilla and bourbon, you would love this. We would highly recommend you go over there and get yourself one of these bad boys. Hey. I think people should fly far and wide. <laughs> come, come get a to cut, Go to Four Peaks. And also, we uh, were watching the Craft Beer Channel. We saw this cool little thing. It's called the Westmark uh, 
Hermitus out of uh, Germany. If you have one of the larger bottles that you want to save, this little contraption here will uh, go right into place and uh, it'll keep it fresh for you. Yeah. You can stick it back into the fridge. Um, with this, of course, it's only 12 ounces. So but when you buy some of the bigger ones and yeah. you don't want to have to finish the whole thing and you want to save some even, yeah. then you put that on there. Or else if I lucked out and it was something she didn't and like we got and that I just on wanted Amazon. to taste a little bit. We got that on Amazon for what, yeah. 15 bucks? Yeah, I can't remember $10? exactly, but it wasn't very expensive. Everyone but... should get one. Never saw anything like that. Mm -mm. We love the beer the Craft Beer Channel, and it's Bradley and Johnny. Shout out and cheers, guys. Cheers, we, mates. Cheers, mates. We watch your show. Well, well anyways, thanks for and, watching our show. Make and, sure to like and subscribe. And thank you so much for joining us here at Heavy Metal Beer Club. Cheers to you. Stay safe, drink responsibly, and, and don't, don't forget, forget to, to stay, stay metal. metal. Wait, let's start it again. Oh, we can just continue. Keep, okay. keep talking. Because I was looking at the wrong thing the whole time. Oh, okay. So let's do the beat from the beginning. Okay. Well, I already opened it. It doesn't so, matter. Yeah, because I can edit it. that and in. And we don't need to do that. <clears throat> now you got to look okay. straight at that one.